Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. For today's video, I am showing you not just a technique to use for eyeshadow on hooded or monolid eyes, but I am showing you the easiest and the most flattering eyeshadow technique to use on hooded or monolid eyes, in my opinion. And as an added bonus, I've partnered up with Sephora for this tutorial, so every single product I use, you can find at your nearest Sephora store or online at sephora.com. So without further ado, if you wanna learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So to begin, I'm using the REN Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic to tone our model's skin. This is a great toner if you're somebody who's looking for something that exfoliates, visibly brightens and tightens, and hydrates for a smooth, even, and energized looking complexion. You'll find it leaves the skin a tad bit tacky after using it, but I feel that helps the makeup stick on even better. You'll also notice that I'm applying this to the complete area of the face using a soft cotton pad in a very delicate style. Once I have this evenly applied, we're gonna move on to our next skincare product, which is the Wishful Thirst Trap Juice. This is a serum that also acts as a great base for makeup because you'll find that it's super hydrating, and that's because of the triple hyaluronic acid and the peptides that are in this product. And one thing I really do love about this product is that it doesn't carry a, um, like a strong scent or fragrance to it. But as you see here, I'm really working my hands into the skin, not just on the face, but also down the neck as well. I'm really pressing this in to get the skin really plumped and hydrated with the serum's ingredients. Now that we have the skin looking and feeling hydrated, it's time for the makeup. For foundation, I'm using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation, and this is in the shade Tres Leches. I'll link it down below along with everything else I use today. But this is one of the launches I've really been excited about trying out lately. If you saw my IG stories of unboxing different PR packages a few weeks ago, this is one of them, and a lot of y'all wanted me to try it on camera. This truly is a luminous matte foundation that is definitely full coverage. Of course, you can always shear it down with a bit of moisturizer if you prefer a lighter coverage. But what you're about to see here is a side-by-side -side of half of her face with foundation and half without. It looks really beautiful. But what I love most about this, I'll tell you, is that it absolutely has no fragrance. Zero, zip, nada. For those of you who don't know, this is the reformulated version of the original Faux Filter Foundation. And if you tried the original one, it had a strong perfume smell to it, which hey, if that's your thing, go for it. But I say this to say that the Huda Beauty team really hit a home run with this foundation and the way they reformulated it without taking away from the beautiful finish and coverage was perfectly done. Okay, so now that we have that applied, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Foundation Stick in the shade Y505 to bronze and contour her face. I applied this on with a blush brush to the cheekbones, forehead, and down the sides of the nose. I don't care to do anything too dramatic or too harsh with this, so applying this on with a blush brush is already doing half of the work for us by giving us a very diffused application before I go in with a sponge in a minute to blend it out. These stick foundations do blend like a dream, which is why I find myself buying this time and time over again. I'm pretty sure at least half of the points I've racked up by now are from repurchasing this, specifically shade Y505. And I didn't even join the Sephora Beauty Insiders program up until maybe... I don't know, two years ago? Could you imagine how many points I'd have if I joined when I started shopping there years ago? I'd be I'd be filthy rich with points. <laughs> Literally, if you guys haven't already joined, you really should. It's worth racking up the points while you can. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> Back to the makeup. Now that we're finishing up with this contour, we're gonna move on to concealing with the Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade 4.5N. And I'm applying this on with a concealer brush to the under eye areas, along with the lower corners of the mouth, Cupid's bow and center of the nose before heading back to the sponge to give you guys a minute or so of some blending footage.
Alrighty, so if you're still with me, we have everything blended and looking seamless. And now that we have that complete, we're gonna head on over to blush. I'm using the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in the shade Happy, and I'm applying this onto her cheeks using a large blush brush. I'm being kind of heavy with this because <laughs> you know how much I love blush. And I'm gonna go in with the sponge here in just a second to diffuse the edges a little bit. That's why I'm not too concerned with it being too perfect with the application using the brush, because when in doubt, the sponge will diffuse it out and really press it into the products we have lying underneath it, such as the foundation, concealer, and the contour. Next, with this translucent setting powder from One Size Beauty, I'm gonna use this along with the powder puff to set the under eye area along with the rest of the face and her eyelids. And this will be another minute of peace for my voice while I do this. Okay, so we're just finishing up here with the complexion products and as you can see, Elle's skin is looking really beautiful and blended. Now for the brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate and I'm slowly gonna start building up this brow. This brow is actually gonna be pretty easy today. I'm just using this pencil, no gels or nothing like that. It's pretty simple and I'm just gonna slowly start building up this brow into the shape and depth that we want it to be in. Now that we're finishing up on the brows, it's time for the star of the show, the eyes. Today, I'm starting by using this shade in the Natasha Denona Mini Love Eyeshadow Palette. And with a large fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm working this all over the lid. I'm speeding this up just a little bit only because I'd rather do that than to cut out any of this blending footage. And I'll zoom in here in a second, but this shade is gonna act as our transition shade today. So it's really all about blending it up and out. The more you blend it outwards, the more dramatic it's gonna be. Once we have this all smoked out and looking really sultry, we're gonna move on to the next shade, which is this deep plum shade in the same eyeshadow palette. And this is where the technique comes into play. So for hooded or monolid eyes, the easiest way to accentuate your eye shape is to look straight ahead into a mirror while you tap a deeper shade eyeshadow right above your lash line. This doesn't have to be too perfect or precise. We're just using this as a rough guideline for where we're gonna place our eyeshadow next. If in fact, the way I placed this is looking a little crazy, but, but have faith, it'll all work out, I promise. And just in case there's a little fallout, I do place a little extra powder underneath the eyes to catch it. But back to the shadow, you see that guideline we created when Elle has her eyes looking down? I'm gonna use that as a blueprint for where we place the shadow. Everything below that line, I'm gonna fill in with that same deep plum shadow. And then I'll start blending out the edges of that line to to get a more seamless look. And I'm gonna speed up this footage here so you, you can see the full blending process. It's a lot of back and forth, but truly this technique for a smoky eye is foolproof, especially on hooded or monolid eyes. It's very easy on eyes that don't have much lid space to create a smoky eye that looks like you have a black eye. It looks like you are punched in the face. You know what I mean? And that's usually because the deep colors are brought up too high on the eyelid. But by creating that blueprint that I showed you, it tells us where to stop placing that dark shadow so that we only see a peak of it, you know? We don't 
have the whole lid covered in it. And as you see here with this blend, everything is slowly coming together. I've dipped into both the shades we've used so far to add a little more depth here and there to contribute to this blend. And what makes a smoky eye so easy is that it doesn't have to be perfect. You guys know me, I don't even like the eye makeup to be that, you know, perfect, perfect. So that's why I love this look. And as I said earlier, if you want it to be more dramatic, you can switch out this plum shade for another color or smoke out the eyeshadow a little more, but it's the fundamental technique that I wanted to share with you today. As for the bottom lid, I'm taking the same two eyeshadows we've been using to blend out and smoke the bottom lash line as well. To add some extra drama and intensity, I'm running this black eyeliner pencil from Makeup by Mario through the waterline. This would also pair really well if you wanted to do a nude eyeliner, but it just depends on the vibe you're going for. Maybe for a daytime look, you could use the same technique with the eyeshadow, but possibly only use the, the lighter lavender shade we first used and then pairing it with a nude eyeliner. And then maybe to spice it on up a little bit for the evening, you can mix in some of that deeper plum shade and then throw on that black eyeliner with it. That's why I really love a palette such as this one from Natasha Denona that we used today. There's not a whole lot of complicated eyeshadows. There's a simple mix in there, but all the shades work really beautifully both alone and together. And it's nice that there's some different textures in there too. You have a couple matte shades, a couple shimmers, and one high intensity glitter metallic shade. That's really beautiful as well. To show you one of the shimmers, I'm gonna use the champagne shimmer shade here in the inner corner and also just under the brow bone for a little pop of brightness. And because I really liked this shine that it gave, I decided to use this as the highlight today too, which is just another reason why I like this eyeshadow palette. As simple as it is, it's versatile. You can use it on the eyes, you can use it on the face, whatever floats your boat. I'm using that champagne shimmer to highlight the cheekbones, the cupid's bow, and down the center of the nose. Once we're done with that, we're gonna move on to lips, for which I'm using the Pro Lip Palette, also from Makeup by Mario. With a lip palette like this, you really can mix and create any lip color you want, but for the sake of keeping this simple, I'm using the lip shade LP2, which is this rosy nude shade. And because this wouldn't be a look of mine without gloss, I'm using the Turkish Delight Gloss from NARS to give the lips that radiant shine. Now I have to let you guys in on a little secret. Just because I'm posting this video on a Monday, doesn't mean I'm not posting on my normal Wednesday schedule. I know, I know two videos in one week it's happening. And not only that, but in the video I'm posting this Wednesday, I'm doing a matte lip. I know, I don't wanna talk about it yet. We'll wait till the time comes. But until then, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set the makeup and to lock it into place, which makes this the last step in creating this beautiful look on our gorgeous model. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions, get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you lock me down? And there we have it kids. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.